Hello and welcome, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to make some signs from some things that I got from my local dump. Sounds pleasant, doesn't it? Well, it really is pleasant when you find really cool stuff that people don't really want to throw away, but they put there and eventually it does if it doesn't get taken. So this is little uh, a little sign, actually a couple of them. This one I'm working on says cards, so they must have had it over their card table and then, uh, you know, at their wedding. And then the other one, I can't really remember what it said, but um, it was something for their wedding. S'mores maybe or something like that. So they had a s'more table, which sounds really fun and yummy. Uh, anyway, I decided I was going to grab them and paint over the letters the best that I could with some black paint and just make it dark enough so that I could add some lettering of my own. So believe it or not, you can paint with spray paint without just spraying it on something. I have this rusty orange spray paint and it's the only orange that I have in my whole stash without mixing up a bunch of different paints. So I decided I was going to use it. I love this color. It's a rustic, primitive orange, and I wanted to try this with my stencils. Now, of course, this stencil, I got a little juicy on the very first try, and it messed up my H. But luckily, I did that black backing, so I can just take my black paint and go back over it. So the rest of them came out pretty good. I had to touch up a little bit here and there, but really it wasn't too, too bad. And what I did, because it's a clear stencil, I could see where I was putting my uh, stencil over the letters. And so once it dried a little bit, I went back over it and re-stenciled just to make the orange a little bit darker and stand out some more. So then I grabbed my uh, stencils again once they were dry and I went back with the A and the P's and I put in those little middle sections that should be black. So I just took some black paint and added those in. They're right next to the letters so that you can do that. That was pretty simple. And again, it's clear so you can see through it. If I couldn't see through it, I don't know where that little dot would go <laughs> on that thing, but it came out pretty good. So now I've grabbed the uh, black paint and I'm going to touch up that H and now it looks so much better. That little bit of extra paint that went around, I just cleaned it right up. And then I am adding the black paint to uh, that A down there on fall. We're just writing happy fall on this banner. This also was in the free pile at the dump. It was a whole big box of stuff uh, and I'm only doing a few things out of that box today. but. Happy Fall is going on this nice big sign and I'm going to put it in my booth to wel welcome my customers and also if they want to purchase it, they certainly can. So what I'm going to do is just place it the where I want it, uh, where I want it, and then uh, just tape it for now until I figure out if that's where I want it and if it hangs the way I want it to. And there we go. So they're just taped on there for now. And then uh, once I get that hanging the way I want it, I decided that I wanted something up above at the top. So I have a bunch of leftover uh, ribbon here, there, and everywhere, just little pieces that I wanted to clean up that I think would match really well. I didn't have anything orange, but I definitely have the black and white and the uh, burlap color here on this one. So we're just going to go ahead and go with these and then I'll add something over the top to bring out that orangey color uh, for the fall. So this is just, I guess, what you call a messy bow. Um, I just grabbed a bunch of different ribbon that I thought would look nice together and make it look nice and bulky and full. And I just stack, just cutting them down to a certain size that I thought would look good on the top of my sign and just stacking it up. And then I just take a piece of twine and tie the middle with a double knot to make sure that it stays together. And then basically with this what you do is you fluff 
and you uh, pull out the pieces that you want to see more than others. Um, it's just all about the fluffing with a lot of these ribbon, um, just making them look really nicely. So here is my pop of orange that I'm going to put on top to bring out those letters and the colors. That little pumpkin is from a pick from Dollar Tree and I like them because they are already distressed and they look aged so it kind of adds to the really cool vibe of this um, sign. So now I am going through with my staple gun now that I've got what I think I want, where I want those uh, signs to be and I just go in and staple the sides around the back just give it a shake and then I can go ahead and put my bow on and fluff it up and then my pumpkin over the top. more chalkboard signs that I got from the box at the dump of the wedding stuff. Not sure what was on these. These came blank when I got them, which is a bonus. So I'm not going to do anything to them, but add some stencils. I have these stencils that I've had for several years, and I just keep using it over and over again. And I love using the Count Your Blessings and Family, so that's what I'm going to do on these signs. So they're very difficult to work with because it's so small and to get that um, stencil in there. So I just do my best and I know that I can go back in with some black paint and uh, touch it up like I did with the last sign. So I just dry it a little bit and then go on to the next one and do count your blessings. Um, and then uh, again, I'll have to probably go back in and touch up, which is fine with these because you can, I have a little bit of black paint. I can go ahead and do that. When I do a two-step stencil like this, I like to wipe the backing off just to make sure it doesn't get on anywhere else uh, on the picture itself. So I just flip it over and wipe it off before I go ahead and put the blessings on. So now I'm just going through with some black paint and touching up those letters, I'm just making them look a little more crisp and just so that you can tell what the letters are. Sometimes the, like in the Y there, the, the upper part gets mushed together and you can't tell that that's really a Y. So this just cleans it up quite a bit. So then I do the same thing with the Count Your Blessings. It took me a little bit longer because there was a lot more uh, letters to that, but I went ahead and just took my time and turned the picture frame as I needed. There we go, and just gently put that black paint in there. So I definitely thought it was missing something and very plain looking and I definitely could have done some more stencils but I wanted to use my twine and wrap it around the bottom and I did this the same on both of the pictures and I just wrapped it around the bottom and then I went the other way um, around this edge and where they met I just made a nice bow and uh, for a little decoration. And that just adds a little bit of interest to the picture, I think, and makes a nice touch.
So from the wedding box, I got these signs. Some of them said, uh, one of them said wine, and then a lot of them were numbers, probably for table numbers. And the numbers were in white on both sides, but they were easily sanded. And I just used my uh, hand and just sanded those down. It was pretty easy. Just put a little bit of elbow grease into those, uh, or I could go down and use my sander, I'm sure. I just took a little bit of stain and I'm covering them back up where I had sanded down to make them look all brand new again. I have several more of these even besides the stack that I'm showing you here. Um, I did three sanded down for you today but I'm planning on doing a bunch more because I have a bunch more. But I couldn't pass up these already cut, already stained signs and just took a little bit of sanding and uh, imagination to do something different with them. So I got this stamp at a yard sale. It said $3 on it, but it was a bundle deal, so I'm pretty sure I did not pay $3 for the stamp. But even if I had, I really like it. It makes things look a little distressed. It makes a really cool background, like uh, kind of like a crinkle or crackle background. So of course I really like that. And I just adding a little bit of off-white paint here and I'm just putting it on for the backing. I don't have a lot of burgundy in my booth, uh, so I decided that I wanted to do some signs with burgundy. So I have this burgundy paint and I'm just going to use this chicken stencil and just do the bottom part where it has the line of the chicken, the rooster, and a bunch of little chicks. And then I will add some wording over the top, but I want to go ahead and do my burgundy first before I get my black paint out. But I think this came out really cute. I love doing little shelf sitter signs, coming up with different variations of them that um, would look really cool amongst other things or just sitting like on the shelf over your sink or something. So again, with the chicken stencil, we're going to go ahead and do this cute little hen on one side and then some writing down the, the other side of it is what I plan on doing. But as you're going to see later on, it didn't work out so well. But it was a nice try. So um, I will link the stencil down in the description below from Amazon if I can find it. It's a really cute, detailed stencil. And I just love doing chicken signs and decor because I have chickens myself. So I just love to make them up. So as you see here, before I lift my stencil again, I want it a little bit darker. So I'm just running my little heat gun over it and drying the first coat. And then I'm going over it again before I even remove my stencil. And that way it makes a nice dark stencil that you can see very well. This next one I'm going to put a crow on. I love doing the crow decor as well and I really like this one so I'll probably do a few more with some of the other pieces of wood that I have but I really like doing this one too. Again this one got messed up. I wanted to put writing above his head and it didn't work out so well. So, But I'll show you what I do to kind of fix it or go in a different direction than what I wanted to do, but um, I still think it came out really cute. It's just not exactly my first thought of what I wanted to do. So I just put the paint on and then I take a little piece of wood tag that I have and I kind of work the paint down through and his little cute little tail didn't quite come all the way out so I just added that on there. Going back in with my black paint now that I have that out and I put welcome on the top of this a little chicken sign and I just had to go back in and add some more detail. I felt it got lost and I just wanted to um, you know fill in some of the places that didn't come out so well and just make it look a little bit better. So I tried to do home down the side of this little hen sign and the H something happened I don't even know. I probably got too much paint. But I tried to do count your blessings on the crow one and 
it just got lost and I really didn't like it and so I just decided to sand them both down and I was going to redo it and then I found a piece of uh, canvas that I had and so I decided to cut those down I cut two of those and just wrapped them around where I did the writing and glued them down and I'm just going to do some twine over the top of that and uh, call it good. I think it looks really cute and something different. Uh, someday I will try to do my stenciling again and try to go less juicy on my paint. I guess I'm just maybe a little rusty because I haven't done it in a while and just trying to maybe I'm trying to rush and just get too much paint on at once. I really like to do a light light coat and then just keep going over it until I get the right amount that I want and for some reason I just couldn't do it today. So, but anyway, I really like how this looks with the twine wrapped around the little bit of canvas. And then again, I just take a little bit of twine and make a cute little bow and put that up in the corner. And it's not, like I said, not exactly what I came up with at first, but I think it came out pretty cute. I did the same with my little hen, I except I did went down the side, of course and again made a little bow and it's all done. you liked my signs today let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite i appreciate you watching and have a great day